In this video, we're looking at peanuts. I know, I can hear you saying the peanut is not something associated with Canada, but stay tuned because you may be wrong about that. To begin with, let's find out a little bit about the peanut. It's not actually a nut, it's a legume. In other words, a bean or a pea, but it is commonly referred to as a nut. Peanut plants have stems and oval-shaped green leaves. The maturing plant blooms and produces special stem-like structures called pegs. The peg curves downwards and penetrates the soil. On the tip of each peg is the peanut seed pod. At maturity, a plant will have about 20 to 25 pods. The peanut is native to South America, east of the Andes, around Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, and Brazil. European traders later spread the peanut worldwide, and cultivation is now widespread in tropical and subtropical regions. Peanuts were introduced to the southern United States by West African slaves, who brought the nuts with them. During the colonial period, peanuts were grown as a garden crop, and records show that peanuts were grown commercially in South Carolina around 1800, and used for food, oil, and a substitute for cocoa. The first notable increase in peanut consumption began in 1860 with the U.S. Civil War. By the last half of the 19th century, peanuts were eaten as a snack, sold freshly roasted by street vendors and at baseball games and circuses, and as an ingredient in candy. And this is where Canadian Dr. Marcellus Gilmore Edson comes into the picture. Sadly, not much is known about Dr. Marcellus Gilmore Edson, but he was a distinguished chemist born in 1849 in Bedford, Quebec. He is renowned for his groundbreaking work in the realm of food. Dr. Edson was researching ways to make a nutritious food that was easier to swallow for people who had difficulty chewing. He experimented with various nuts and came up with a paste made from roasted peanuts that was both nutritious and easy to swallow. Edson's invention was patented in 1884, making him the first person to patent peanut butter, but the patent was actually meant for making peanut candy. Peanut butter is often credited to later inventors, but Edson was the first to patent the paste. By grinding the peanuts while they were heated, the patent shows that he was able to create a soft, smooth, creamy paste-like product that will set into a consistency like that of butter, lard, or ointment. He further describes how the product can be mixed together with sugar to create candy or various confections, but that he doesn't need to define the sugar mixture required to prepare these treats. This was the beginning of that beloved spread called peanut butter, enjoyed as a staple in kitchens around the world. It's an interesting Canadian invention, considering peanuts are not native to Canada. Canadians appear to have a love affair with this strange legume, so much so that we even have a peanut bureau of Canada. A 2023 research report ascertained that the average Canadian consumes nearly 3 kilograms of peanuts and peanut butter per year, and 90% of Canadians have peanut or peanut butter in their homes. The Peanut Bureau of Canada was established in 1999 as an informative office to promote the U.S. grown peanut and is an offshoot of the non-profit American Peanut Council. More than 85% of peanuts consumed in Canada were grown in the United States and Canada is the third largest single country importer of U.S. peanuts. Canadian climate isn't very conducive to growing peanuts, which require sandy soil and hot, dry weather, but that hasn't stopped gardeners from various areas around the country giving it a try. With the decline in tobacco sales and problems in the 1970s, Southern Ontario farmers in Norfolk County searched for an alternative cash crop to utilize their expertise. The county possessed the right combination of sandy soil and temperate climate to produce a high-quality peanut crop. 
Valencia and Spanish type peanuts are earlier maturing and the most suitable for Ontario's growing conditions. Working closely with the University of Guelph's Delhi Research Farm, Jim Picard Sr. planted a small section on his farm in 1979. The results were good and he opened Picard Peanuts and was Canada's first commercial peanut farm. Ernie and Nancy Raj started experimenting with peanuts on their Vitoria, Ontario family farm and were growing peanuts commercially by 1982. Their company, Colonel Peanuts, is Canada's largest peanut producer. While southern Ontario's climate and soil is optimum for growing peanuts, the Maritimes isn't far behind. Gardeners in the interior have been experimenting with their longer growing season, and the Valencia peanut has done quite well according to Annapolis Seeds. So, were you surprised that peanuts can grow in Canada? Let us know in the comments if you've ever tried growing them and what your experience was. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, there are a few things you can do to help support our channel. Give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and leave a comment. Please consider giving us a super thanks on YouTube or buying us a coffee so we can continue bringing you interesting content. Let us know if there's a Canadian story you would like us to cover in a future episode. For more videos about Canada, please subscribe and ring the bell icon to be notified of our next video upload.